Hi, and welcome to another episode of Reaper TV. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at noise reduction. We're going to take a look at what plugin we can use to enhance our recordings, and we're going to see how we can cancel any noise that we don't want. This is a great technique if you're using for voiceovers, or if you've got quiet passages in a song and you don't want any background hum or anything else from the ambient environment interfering with your recordings. So I've got some audio in front of me that I've just recorded, and it's just me recording my voice. So if we scroll back to the beginning and take a little listen. Hi, and welcome to Reaper TV. This is an audio test to show how we can use noise reduction. You can hear it's just my voice. Now, you may not be able to tell the actual noise in the audio, but believe me, it is there, and we'll take a look at that a bit later on. But what I need to do, and this is the important thing, is we need to have some form of silence in our audio recording that we can use to sample. So in this instance, you can see I've left a pause at the beginning of my recording to use that as a basic basis for the ambient noise that I've got in the room that I'm working with. So all I need to do is select a portion of this audio. I'm going to put it into loop mode because I want to loop just this little section. I need to make sure my playhead is back at the beginning. And we're going to go into the effects browser. And what we're going to do is we're going to take a look for an effect called ReFIR. So if we open that up, you can see it's a fairly simple interface. And it looks like the typical kind of thing you use for EQing. And that's something you can actually use it for. So if we take a look, we've got various different modes available to us. At this moment, it's set to EQ. If I expand that, you can see I've got five options. EQ, Gate, Compressor, Convolve, Left R, uh, sorry, LR, and Subtract. Now the option we want is subtract because we want to subtract the ambient noise from our recording. So once we've enabled that, you can see we've got the option to automatically build a noise profile. Now, the important thing is to make sure that you check this when you actually sample your noise and then uncheck it once you've sampled it. Otherwise it'll continually try to sample and you'll get some very strange effects. So I've set it, I've got my playhead where I need it. I've got my selection sort of looped and now I'm ready to go ahead. So all I need to do is hit play, and this will monitor that section of audio for any noise. So if we take a look on the graph at the bottom in the meter, you'll see all this area is just ambient noise. There's just room noise, buzz from the computer and things like that. So I can stop that. So that's now created a profile for us based upon the noise that is picked up in this section. So now I uncheck the automatically build noise profile. And now this plugin will continually monitor all of our audio and anything that's inside this frequency range, which is the, the background hum, will be cancelled out. So if I just hit play, you probably won't notice anything at this point in time, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how you can check that. So let's just play. Let's unloop that. Hi, and welcome to Reaper TV. This is an audio test to show, and there's my normal audio. Now we should find that any noise that was at the beginning of that has now been cancelled out. So, okay, I want to put it back into loop mode a second because I want you to turn your speakers up or your headphones up just so you can hear exactly what's going on. So I'm not going to talk over this. So what I suggest is I'm going to turn this on and off just so you can see. So to start off with, we'll turn this off. So if you turn your speakers up, you're going to find that when I play this, you'll hear the background noise that's in there. Okay, so hopefully what you've seen is that that has now shown you the section that the noise has been sampled from and how you can see that the noise to start off with, with this disabled, is plainly evident at higher volumes. And then when we engage it, it actually cancels that out. So I'm going to switch this back on. So now you can go through and you can do your normal things like you can EQ this, you can put a compressor and things like that on there. Well, I hope you found this tip useful for reducing noise in your recordings. If you have, please hit the subscribe button below. If you've got any comments, feedback, or questions, please put those in the comment section below. And until next time, happy mixing.